In this video, we are going to look at the difference between simul well, we're going to look at simultaneous equations and look at the two different methods that we are taught in high school, which is elimination and substitution. I personally prefer substitution as it's more useful in grade 11 and 12. However, you are going to have to know both techniques and both are relatively easy. Let's just go through the two different types. First of all, let's start with what is a simultaneous equation? Well, simultaneous means doing something at the same time. And so what they mean by that in math, well, mathematically, is that we have two equations over here where we have an x and a y, whereas normally we only have x. And so we're going to solve for x and y together using these two equations. Because the way it works is that in an equation like this, you would easily be able to solve for x because x you just get by itself. But when you're stuck with a x and a y, well now you can't really get x by itself. I mean you could, but it would look like that. And so you haven't actually found a value for x. So the way in maths, the way it works is that for every, num for every unknown that you have, you need an equation. So in this example, or in these simultaneous equations, we've got x and x as your unknowns, but then we also have y and y. So we have two different types of unknowns, namely x and y, and so we need two equations to solve them. And that's why we've got these two equations. So we can call this equation number one, and we could call this equation number two. The first technique I'm gonna show you is the technique of elimination. Now what usually helps with elimination, well, it's, it's, yeah, it's the best way, is to write the x and y's above each other like this because not all equations are going to look like that in the beginning, and then keep all the numbers like this on the other side. Then your goal is to try and eliminate either the x's or the y's. So you can choose, and it's completely up to you. You are allowed to add or subtract these two equations. So for example, if we had to take this as equation number two, which we've already said, and this is equation number one, let's say equation number two minus equation number one. So we're going to minus them, okay? So what would x minus x be? Well, that would cause the x's to cancel, and then you would have y minus 2y. And so that's going to leave us with negative y, and then we say 8 minus 4, which is 4. And then we can just switch things around here by dividing by a negative 1. And so we'll see that y is equal to negative 4. So there we have y's answer. It's negative 4, okay? So now what you do is you take that y equals to negative 4, and you can substitute it into either equation number 1 or equation number 2. Once again, the choice is yours. I'm going to substitute it into number 2. So I'm going to say sub in number 2. And so wherever I see a y... I'm going to open up a bracket and put the value of y, which is minus 4. And so now we've got a plus and a minus next to each other, so that's just a minus. And then we get x alone by taking the minus 4 to the right, and so x is 12. So the answers are y equals to negative 4 and x equals to 12. Now I'm going to show you my favorite technique, which is substitution. With substitution, your first goal, and we can also name this number 1 and this number 2, what you want to do is get one of the equations to have x or y alone. So, and there's multiple ways you could do this, but for example, if we take equation number 1, which is x plus 2y equals to 4, and we rearrange it so that x is by itself, it will look like this. We can then call this equation number 3. Then we can go to the equation that we haven't used, and wherever we see x, we will replace it with that because it's telling us here that x is equal to 4 minus 2y so we can replace this x with 4 minus 2y so I'm gonna say substitute equation number 3 into equation number 2 and so in brackets wherever I see a x I will replace it with 4 minus 2y and then I can just solve for y and so I'm gonna take the y's to the right and bring the numbers to the left, and so on the left we're going to have 4 minus 8, and on the right we're going to have 2y minus y. And so on the left we'll have minus 4, and on the right we'll have y. So there we get, we see y is equal to negative 4. Then, to find x, you just substitute that back into number 3. So substitute into number 3. And number 3 currently says that x is equal to 4 minus 2y, and so wherever I see a y, I can replace it with negative 4. And so x is equal to 4, minus and a minus is a plus, and so that's going to give us plus 8, and so x is 
12. So they are two different techniques, they accomplish the same thing at the end. As you get better at this you'll realize which technique works better in certain situations. Elimination does work nicely sometimes, however I just prefer substitution because it's more applicable to other subjects such as science and it gets used more often in grade 11 and 12.